in this video we are going to learn how to set up AKS cluster in Azure portal using Azure CLI command. AKS is a fully managed container orchestration service provided by Microsoft Azure. Using AKS you will be able to deploy your container based applications into AKS cluster and uh, you don't have to worry about managing the um, master plane okay, or the control plane. They are going to take care of it. All we have to worry about is setting up the worker mode. In this video, that is what we are going to learn how to set up the worker mode. Awesome. So let's get started. So guys, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. So what is the pre-request? Pre-request is, you know, you need to have Azure CLI installed on your local machine. And then you also need to make sure you have a account set up in Azure as well. Okay. I already have account set up. I also have my CLI install over here as well. Okay. Great. So let's quickly get started. So you need to make sure that, you know, you are logging into Azure portal, right? So when you execute this command, this is going to ask you to provide your uh, username and password. And then, you know, uh, so that confirms that, you know, we are already logged in. So we are good. How you are going to create the AKS cluster, right? So for that, we need to first create the resource group. Okay, so resource group is nothing but this is where you know all your all your resources will be logically grouped. Okay, so I'm going to create a resource group, and uh, this is the resource group resource group name, and this is the location South Central US, and you know depending on your location, you can provide your uh, location. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the resource group. Awesome, you see here the resource group is created. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, create a cluster. Um, so if you see here in this command, I want to create, uh, let's say, a two node cluster, right? So this is what I'm going to say, node count equal to two, okay? And uh, this is my cluster name, okay? And then I want to make sure that, you know, um, monitoring is turned on, okay? And then, of course, uh, I also want to create uh, SSH keys as well, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and then create, uh, execute this command. So this will easily take uh, probably you know two to three minutes so I'm going to pause the video and then come back all right the cluster has been created as you can see it's, it's completed and if you want to take a quick view without even logging into a portal you can execute this command okay so what this is going to do this is going to show you that you know the cluster has been created Okay, so that is what it is. So this confirms that you know our cluster exists in Azure portal. Okay, and the next thing is you know how you, we are going to connect into our AKS cluster, right? Um, for that, we are going to uh, you know execute this particular command. So what this is going to do? This is going to override, or this is going to update our uh, kubectl, okay, uh, context. So let's go ahead and then execute this. Okay, you see here. So this has updated our uh, cube config file. Okay, so and you know our context has been set in the cube config file, so that you know we should be able to use our kubectl command in order to see, uh, you know, in, in order to access our cluster. Okay, so let me quickly go ahead and then see how many nodes are there. Well, you see here. So we created with uh, two nodes. So this confirms that you know our cluster has been set up with the two worker nodes so so far so good and then if you want to look at you know how many deployments are there you know in in uh, okay in in all your namespaces go ahead and then execute this command okay okay you see here so we are able to see uh, the deployment across uh, you know all the namespaces okay so perfect so everything is good so why don't we quickly deploy a nginx app and then see you know if you are able to uh, deploy that app okay so for that uh, i'm going to use this particular aml file okay so they already uh, this is already available for us okay all we have to do is you know uh, use this uh, aml file in order to deploy into our kubernetes cluster so let me go ahead and then execute that command. Wow, you see here. So this says that deployment has been created. And then I'm going to view the deployment. Wow, you see here. 
this confirms that you know our deployment has been created okay so that is really awesome so now let's say if you want to destroy your cluster okay because uh, 